deserve to be rewatched. So I I don't know if it'll go to YouTube because my my casting. I'm sure you guys still enjoyed it, but I could have I could have talked about that awesome game differently. All right, my friends, welcome. I hope you like John Slow because we have more of him. Uh, now he's here in the green. He's playing as a Chinese, and his opponent is Skogo. And my goodness, are these bases close? Like this has Tower Rush map written all over it, <laughs> or Castle Drop map written all over it. So before I talk about the sieves and talk about the maps, talk about the matchup, I am going to ask my Twitch chat, what do you think of the colors? Because green, I'm, I'm never a fan of green because it matches the terrain they're playing on, which makes it hard for things to spot. I think green in combination with yellow is kind of eh. Um, so give me your opinion on that, and I can change in the red and blue. Okay, so it's like 50-50. <laughs> so some people are like, yeah, these colors are fine. And other people are like, ah, oh, these colors are not fine. Expected. Okay. Well, we don't have anyone there to make a poll right now. So I'll tell you what. We're going we're gonna to appeal to both groups. This game will keep green and yellow. And if they play again, we'll go to blue and red next time. All right? That's what we'll go for. That's just, that's just how it's going to work. So, in Age of Empires 2, you generally get three golds. Your main gold's going to have seven tiles. So there's John Slow's main gold. That's forward. That's not good. His second gold is here, so he could take that. And, uh, okay, I think this is his third one. Right here, the game is paused. This must be his third. This is fortunate, though. He does have the two neutral golds, because there's always two three-tile golds in the back of his base. That's nice. Uh, for Skogo... Skogo's starting resources are a bit better than John Slow's. He has a better main gold. Uh, he has a safe stone here. And then he has two golds outside his walls on the right, and then this stone as well. But it's on the back side, so it's fine. Um, mm -hmm. just, just thinking about how the civilizations will play out here, guys, because Vietnamese are known as one of the weaker civs in the game. Uh, Vietnamese, they have an amazing archer in the Ratan Archer. They have amazing Imperial Skirms. Uh, they they can go elephants even, but elephants proved to be too expensive, and I think that this this has to favor Chinese. I mean, Chinese have fully upgraded champions, fully upgraded cavalier, heavy camels. They have Onager, they have Siege Ram, they have Elite Chukunu, they have amazing scorpions. They have so much. It's one of the most versatile civs in the game. They also have more monk options than the uh, than the Vietnamese do. One difference is that Vietnamese, they can be quite strong if they get Bombard Cannons massed, but I think that that still leaves Vietnamese with very little answer to Siege Ramp push. We will see. We will see. If I'm Skogo, though, I'm looking at this game from this angle. John Slow is a stronger player than you, and he has a Civ which is more versatile. So I think you consider something wacky, like a Tower Rush or a Tower Hop. Um, John Slow is known for that himself. Maybe do it to John Slow. Try something that's non-meta to to shake things up. That's what I would do. Why isn't John's gold better than Skogo? It's so safe in the back. Well, I'll talk about the main gold. Uh, of course, he'd have to scout this gold here. Um, this gold is fine. He'll probably start taking this one, but you never know. The thing is... John Slow could lose both of his stones and his main gold if this area is taken under control. So, so if Skoga were to tower rush here, he could build his first tower here, start busting through the wall with villagers, and he would immediately deny the option for John Slow to get that stone if he towered here. Now, he doesn't know that because it's behind walls, but he, in Feudal Age, would be able to see this, I think. In Dark Age, he's going to see about three tiles. So that's not going to be enough to see that this stone is here. But sometimes just seeing this one is enough of an invitation to go forward. Especially when players are so close. So he's just missing out on seeing that. This is not a tournament mosh. These are just some rated games. Uh, to be completely honest with you guys. Now I'm going to announce my tournament soon. And uh, I'm excited for it and everything. But... Over the past month or so with King of the Desert and and qualifiers and on all these different things. I mean, it's been great. You know, we've had a lot of expert games. But the last few days, I've really been enjoying the 
the casual rated games. Do you guys agree? Like, I love the expert scene, don't get me wrong. And I wouldn't necessarily that I say that I get burned out of the game, because I don't. But if you cram a hundred expert games into a week or two, it, it, it becomes a lot. It's like the hype surrounding the hype surrounding the fact that it's an expert game is diminished because there's so many matches. And uh, th that's at least how I've been feeling, and I'm, I've been enjoying the last few days. For Hidden Cup 2, I can tell you this much. Um, I'm, I'm really happy that we actually have less games. And you might be thinking, well, it's 90, best of 9s, best of 13s, best of 221s. Uh, that's, that's where the hype's at. And, you know, you might think that. But I think that if you have, like, best of 5s leading into a best of 7, each game matters so much more. And it actually, like, builds up the hype of each series more. So you might have less watch time overall, but I, I think it makes the tournament easier to follow. And, uh, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm, I can't wait to talk to you guys about Hidden Cup 2. Um, you'll know within the week. So, Skogo's doing exactly what I wanted him to do. He's going forward to tower. And I think John Slow expects this. He he does have Loom at the moment, so no risk of losing villagers. Let's see if Skogo can spot that stone, guys. Because if he towers here, he just gets lucky. All right, that's going to be good enough. John Slow is fast castling, so he's not in feudal age to build defensive towers. And when John Slow gets towered, he he normally says something in the chat. He normally reacts. Yeah, the idea here is oh oh my god johnson's gonna rush it down skogo wasn't expecting that neither was i well denied my friend okay i think it's possible that skogo could have finished that tower but it makes you panic when you get rushed down like that okay so he'll build this one the other tower is at 80 percent so he, he learned his lesson here. He's walling this one up. And <laughs> I mean, John Slow's economy is... Look at this. Look at these idols, man. His name is John Slow for a reason. He just wants to keep Skogo out, I guess. And Skogo deleted the tower. <laughs> Coinskink says, forget the meta, let's go. Exactly. Oh, he rang the bell, you know. Typical John Slow stuff. I think what makes John Slow fun is it's relatable for you guys. Uh, for me as well, because I've 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 panicked against towers and I've rung the bell one too many times. I think it makes it relatable. He seems human. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, that would happen to me. It's almost like watching yourself win a game. You're like, yeah, if I if only I wasn't watching T90 all the time, I would have got that win too. Yeah, Midstud, it's not a... So, if you're looking for the game, it's called Clash of the Casters. I think it's on Escape's YouTube. Or... It was an Escape event. Maybe Zach uploaded it to his own YouTube or Zero uploaded it to his own YouTube. It's not... It's not anything that I, like, brag about or anything. But, yep. Um, I can find the video, if you'd like, uh, after this match. Because one person seemed to be looking for it. So John Slow bought himself enough time to get his own defensive tower up. And so, woohoo, we got towers. Uh, you need to garrison the village that's being attacked by the tower as you're repairing. Woohoo! Oh, the scout goes down for John Slow. Uh, John Slow is doing all right here, though. He has more HP on his tower, and he has his stone. But I still think this is kind of mission accomplished for Skogo because this has made life awkward for John Slow. John Slow might not be losing a lot, but he's unable to fast castle easily. And so for that reason, I think that Skogo has, has done a good thing. And if he's able to get his eco right behind this, it's kind of hard to tell right now because both are adding farms. But if he's able to get to Castle Age with decent economy, he could hold this forward position and he could actually build this castle here and maybe go for those Rat 10 archers. Now, I think with these two villagers he's sending forward, he wants to build an additional tower on the right side of the stone. 
Dom Dom says, hey, T90, do you know when your next community game might be? They look so fun and I'm keen to get involved. So community games are always on Fridays. Uh, last week, I did do a full week of community games, but that's not the norm. So if you're looking for community games, check out the schedule and see what time the stream will be on Friday. It used to be Thursday, so there might still be some confusion out there. Uh, I switched it to Friday a few months ago, but... Man, how annoying it must be to garrison and re-garrison these towers. It's crazy. And and John Slow and Skogo are doing a good job at this. But John Slow doesn't see that Skogo is building a tower here. That's a weak villager. Will he die to the tower? Wait for it. Wait for it. Doink! <laughs> what a snipe! <laughs> what a snipe! That was so good. I love it. <laughs> that, that was a perfect tower from Skogo. And it was fortunate that there was a weak vill there, but... Hey, right, John Slow has to build more defensive towers. See, this is this is how you counter John Slow. John Slow has 700 wood in the bank. The eco balance is just not there because of all of this. And I think, especially considering the civilizations, this is what Skogo needed to do. He's done it. Can he kill a villager? He's gotten so many of these villagers weak. And no, he will not kill a villager. Wait, you know what? He might... He might snag... Oh, never mind. I thought he might be able to snag a, a villager on the flank here. Or on the side of the stone. How important is fletching? Very important. Fletching is very important. Gives you range... Uh, and it gives you attack. Big one in a tower war is uh, is the range. Here, yellow is building another tower, and I think this tower he now he has to click it because it's aggroing the house, but it will range the villagers that John Slow has on this counter. Yeah, John Slow can't build that. And behind this, go go. Is is booming up, and Big Boss Bro says this one is gonna go to YouTube. <laughs> I mean, maybe he's uploading it, but I do recognize that guy's username from my, from uh, the community, so I imagine he might be watching here. <laughs> he might realize I'm casting the game and didn't turn spec chat off. I'm just going to talk to him. Think this could go to YouTube. Villagers dying. John Slow's building so many defensive towers. Oh, man. Well played, Skogo. On his way to Castle Age already. The Arena Tower Rush, guys. It is a viable and strong strategy. I feel like stooping to this level. Uh, it, like, uh, using this strategy is something that you should only do if you feel like you're at a civ disadvantage or uh, a skill disadvantage. I mean, you can do it anytime you want, right? But it is kind of, I don't want to call it anti-Age of Empires, but it's pretty lame. <laughs> it's pretty lame. Skogo has killed a lot with it. And I think, I think he might build a siege workshop. Sending more to stone. He has the resource set up to build a siege workshop and make Magano or two. Yeah, does John Slow know about his golds in the back? Okay, he does know they're there. But it doesn't really mean a lot to him if he dies before he gets a chance to take advantage of that. Now, Bod Canero immediately from Skogo. I would like to see a university and guard tower. Like, why not? For forget the siege. You could go guard tower as well. Now I guess the siege workshop is going to help you more because you can use that throughout the whole game. But think with Bod Canero, this tower can range these vills. Oh, it can. There's so many weak ones too. Just stop clicking the tower and click the vills. Oh, he's doing it. He's heard me. John Slow can't take stone. He's stoneless. Some people are stoned. Skogo is stoned. He has plenty of stone, but. John Slow, no stone for him. And now, what is his response to this? 
Because pretty soon his gold is going to be ranged as well. What is his response to this? I don't know if there's much he can do. Maybe he needs to buy stone. Yeah, that's it. He needs to buy a castle. He needs 240 stone. And we have a pause. Uh, either a pause or a rage quit. <laughs> John Slow does not want to rage quit, though. Nah, his other stone's right here. Remember, his stones are forward, so he doesn't have access to any other stone. He needs to buy it. I think he buys it, and then he places his castle... I think the ideal spot for a castle is actually where his towers are. Sounds silly, but maybe delete your towers, place the castle here. That way your castle ranges these towers and these towers. I'm kind of mean. Shh. <laughs> this guy's like, is the game paused? <laughs> Said, no, it's still going. John Slow's building a castle. <laughs> I think we just lost a sub, boys. Maybe lag is on my side. My bad. No worries. <laughs> I think we just lost a sub. I did it for you guys, okay? I did it for you guys. <laughs> is he is he still specking the game? It's paused, by the way. Is he still specking the game? <laughs> I don't think he knows. I, he's still there, okay? He didn't leave. No, it's your fault, man. It's your fault, chat. You guys turned me into this guy. Uh, while we have the time, let's look at Yellow's resources. He doesn't have a lot of food income. Hmm. Maginot on the way? Yeah. I mean, he'll continue the aggression, <clears throat> but uh, I really wonder what he'll do behind that. Will he add town centers? Will he build a castle soon and, and go for rat tents? Kind of feels like he's in between a lot of those options. I remember times when T90 was still nice and innocent. I'm so evil now, I know. Okay, he's still there. I, I was about to feel really bad. He's still there. That's right. We're just we're just being patient. Uh, not much else to talk about, really. Except the fact that John Slow will probably build a castle. T90, we need a seven-bedroom apartment for Land Hidden Cup. <laughs> how would how would a hidden cup land work? I think we're gonna need a lot more subs for a seven bedroom apartment and a land tournament where we'd have to hide player identities as well because it's a hidden cup. Do we have to put? How does that work? Do we put like? Do they put costumes on? <laughs> put them in in costumes. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so another tower for Skogo. Uh, and John Slow's doing exactly what I thought. He's going to buy a castle. He's just done that. And now he's building his castle here. Does that castle range both these towers? I don't think it does. So it protects him a bit. But it doesn't make the situation much better for him. Now that guy who's specking this game is probably thinking, Oh, finally, my, my internet stopped lagging. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you're right. I think they would call that a house. All right, so John Slow has Bodkin Arrow on the way, so he'll he'll kill the towers he can range. A Skogo did get Guard Tower. I think this is where Skogo needs to. To boom up, right? Like, you have two options. You either add TCs or you don't add TCs and you add a bunch of farms to go heavy on gold and try and go imp and then tread that down. I think John Slow's options are the same. I think that he might choose to go imp faster. Uh, who knows though? Who knows? Hard to say. The food eco certainly seems stronger for John Slow. He... He's not building, yeah, he's sending more to gold, and he's not building extra town centers yet, so we'll see. 
See, that was my only issue with what Skoko was doing. He had a lot of offensive pressure, but his follow-up is very imbalanced. He has all the stone, but not enough to build a castle. He has all that gold, but not enough food to accompany that and, and take him to Imp. We'll see. We will see. T90 official. What if you had an expert game where the entire map was always visible? Um, I, I've heard many people bring this up before. I think scouting is such a beautiful thing in Age of Empires 2, and to remove that would be would make it kind of boring. Just my input. Sorry, Matt. We we only speak English here, man. Keep that Japanese out of here. <laughs> I I uh, saw that you've. I I know. Very little about how long you've been learning Japanese, but I saw your tweet a few days ago. What's up, man? Are you still in Europe, by the way? Interesting tower for Skogo. Wants to sneak a tower up here. What about an expert game where the whole map is trees? Now that sounds like an, an idea. A bad idea, <laughs> but an idea. Yeah, John Soul's on the way to Imp. I, I really, I guess Skogo's doing the same thing, he's just later. Got it, okay. All Jon Slow needs to do is relocate his lumber camp. Or, okay, he'll go to gold. He doesn't need wood. Oh, you just got back, okay, cool. Yeah, hope you had a good time, it looked like it was fun. So this turns into a treb war, I think. Man, if <laughs> is anyone else getting really bothered by this lumber camp not being refreshed? There's certain things, you know, I, I know that, like, my farm placement is a thing, and when I criticize people's farms, you're like, oh, T90, it's your farm, you shouldn't be talking, your farms are even worse. But with the lumber camp, I, I feel like a refresh could have been in order. Yeah, Skogo, thank you, buddy. Obviously, stream cheating, woohoo, I like it, all right, thank you. Um, yeah, we'll probably see a treb war. So, I think it'd be a mistake for Skogo to build this castle forward, but he, yeah, see, he doesn't know that Jon Slow is faster to imp. So Jon Slow, he's an experienced fella, and he knows what's up. Now, he's already on his way to the Imperial Age. So basically, Jon Slow has the lead in every category. He has the lead in eco, he has the lead in military, he'll be faster to imp. Um, he is on two TCs as well, so he's able to afford the second TC produced out of this one. I don't think Skogo has done that. See, Skogo has the right idea. He just seems to be behind with some of the decisions. Now, Vietnamese do get Bombard Cannon. So, it, if Skogo makes a university, he has it already. He could get chemistry and then he could make Bombard Cannons. Chinese can't do that. I think maybe that's what Skogo's plan will be. T90, can you do a community game with unique things times nine? Um, so the nine times tech doesn't work that that well, uh, but I think I could make that work in the future. Maybe, I mean, there's so many different things we can do for community games. It's about making it easy, because the last thing I want is to spend a half hour setting up each game. So we can, we can make entertaining games, uh, but some of these crazy mods we might need to hold back on a bit. What's up, Pat Lee? Welcome. Okay, so Jonso gets the trebs faster, forcing Skogo into repairs. This is bad for Skogo because he's most likely going to lose his castle. But I am curious to see what Jonso's follow up is. Going with just trebs for now. Trebs on trebs on trebs. If Skogo can repair this castle for long enough, he can make a few bombard cannons and snipe the trebs. That That's a real possibility for him, but he needs to somehow speed up the research of chemistry. He's at 90%. It's a slow research. Ryuke, I think it's about five villagers per trebuchet that's attacking your castle for repairs. You need a lot of villagers repairing. Like someone can fact check me on that, but if you're hoping to repair your castle, you need to have about five villagers per trebuchet. That's a lot of bills. Trebuchets do a little over 400 damage a shot, so what I do when I'm casting this is I look at the amount of HP <clears throat> and see like how 
how much HP is being taken off, right? So currently for Skogo, it's it's getting close to zero. For John Slow, it's it's also getting closer to zero, but it's not as bad for him. So three trebs firing, that's about 1,200 damage. Boom, boom, it's done. Because it was at 900-ish HP, and John Slow could lose his castle as well, though. And John Slow won't have enough repairs, and the bomber cannons are here. Now there's also some guard towers, because the Chukin are on the way. What a ridiculous game. What a ridiculous game. A John Slow shoots down the tower. The villagers are now stranded. The bomber cannon's stranded. Let's see what your micro's like, Skogo, as he builds another tower. Now he needs to repair his Trev again. This is a repeat of the previous game. It's ridiculous what these games can turn into sometimes. Skogo, repair the Treb. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm so tense. <laughs> These poor Repairvilles, man. <laughs> Can you imagine being the life of Repairville? They thought their shift was over repairing the castle, but now, now they are repairing the Trebs as well. Jonso cannot make more Chukunu. He does not have a castle. We have four Trebs versus three Trebs and a Bombard Cannon. And then five Chukunu who will die to the Guard Tower anytime they get close. Oh! Now, Jonso doesn't have a lot of repair bills left, and he loses the trebuchet! <laughs> this game is ridiculous! This is so. This is just so dumb. It's so dumb. Oh, the Maganels? The Maganels could kill the Trebs. Oh, they'll kill one. Fire. One. What? 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 It didn't kill it? Skogo, it's your lucky day. Buy a lottery ticket, dude. Buy a lottery ticket. Buy two of them. Uh, who needs two of them? You're lucky. You just need one win. Who needs to win the lottery twice? Uh, I don't know how he didn't lose the trebuchet there. Okay, he lost a bombard cannon. Oh, don't pack up your trebs. I guess he's repositioning them. I bet you... Okay, look at the eco. <laughs> look at their economies. You can tell they're so focused on all of this. Look at their economies. Look at Skogo. He has one working farmer there. He has a bunch of idols. Just focused on the Treb fight. But in this case, it makes sense because it's so important. You lose your Trebs, you lose your Bombard Cannons, the game's over. Uh, thank, thank goodness John Slow had that extra gold, though. If he didn't have this extra gold, it'd probably be game over. Or close to it. I guess he still has some gold here. Uh, John Slow does not have chemistry. There's really no reason for him to research chemistry, though. Unless he wants to upgrade archer units, but getting chemistry for your Trebs or your Mackinels isn't worth it here. Remember, Chinese don't have Bombard Cannon, so that's that's why John Slow has fallen behind. Hey, Titanic Lord. Not much, man. Snow day outside. Pretty miserable, in fact, out there. Happy to have you guys hang out with me. You know, it's funny. When most people say snow day... That implies that they are not working that day, or they're off from school. For me, it means I work more. <laughs> so, the School of Age of Empires is still in session. Okay, so John Slow has more economy, and he's now going for Arbalest. So, Skogo needs to micro well. Because Arbalest can kill Bomberkins, but then Bomberkins can also kill Arbalest. It always depends. I think the the riskier situation is Skogo's situation because his eco is very weak. And he doesn't have any skirmishers or any backup. Oh, but build a castle! Build a castle! Wait, no, don't build it there. I lied. I'm tricking you. Don't build it. He has trebuchets still. Don't don't place it there. You want to place it there. Don't do it though. Alright, he thought twice about it. He's building towers instead. Um, this game is, is has me on the edge of my seat right now. Nice shot, Skogo. I like the tower over the castle. The tower has so much range. Oh, that's so good. And now he is trying to place a castle. 
Uh, John Slow can't approach this because of the guard tower, and now, yeah. This is working for Skogo. He has way less population. He's 20 vils behind, all in aggression. Bombard cannonballs, trebuchet balls, all about the balls. Um, keep in mind that if the trebs go down, John Slow cannot make more of them without a castle. He is yet to kill a Bombard Cannon with his arbs. He should kill this one. He does. And he's currently attacking the villagers after building the castle. Yeah, the castle... Delete it. Delete it. Save your stone. Alright, Skogu just lost 650 stone because the castle was in the Treb's range. Uh, and Skogo, you need Maganels behind now because otherwise the ram will kill your trebuchets. It's a thing. Bombard cannons can't kill rams easily. Trebuchets can't either. Oh my goodness, no! He just lost three trebuchets! Oh boy. Has he created a villager in the last ten minutes? Okay, he's creating some more now. But this just shows you how much he's been focusing on the micro. Now, with this many Bombard Cannons, you can kill Rams. I really am rooting for Skoga right now. Is anybody else? I, he has so much less economy. Personally, when I play against this style, I hate it. But I, I kind of want the upset. It's dangerous, though. Oh, Siege Rams on the way. Oh, this is trouble. <laughs> uh, thank goodness. Uh, John Slow is Chinese. If he wasn't Chinese, he wouldn't be able to afford all of this. And also had the back gold, so he was fortunate. Say goodbye to your Treb, John Slow. Say goodbye to your Ram, John Slow. Look at her. Look at look at her. Viper esque Micah right there. Uh, you know, John Slow is actually housed badly. He's really under pressure here. Another tower now. Man, imagine if, if Yellow was Portuguese and he had... Ar Is it Archibus or Arbacus? One of those. That would be nuts. Kind of feels like he's Portuguese. Is it Archibus or Arbacus? One or the other. Archibus. Okay, thank you. A few night wouldn't a few nights obliterate these cannons? Uh, I don't think John Slow has the eco for that. He has 24 food. His basically what he's done is he has put all of his eco on wood and gold to make arbs and rams. So he would need to make a lot of farms. So in that amount of time, he he could die and lose ground. And also. You would need upgrades on the knights. It's not like you could send in a few unupgraded knights. They would die to the, the guard towers. So Skogo needs to kill every building that he can see from John Slow. He needs to continue to push in. Kill the houses. Kill the barracks. Kill... Oh boy. Oh boy. Kill the rams. Kill the rams. Oh, this could be... This could be so bad or so good. And I'm not sure which. I'm leaning towards bad. The siege rams can kill the bombard cannons. These tiny little men can't deal with the... The metal rod that these rams have. Oh, John Slow's micring beneath the towers. He's killed a bunch of bombard cannons. Oh, jeez, go go. Another bombard cannon will die, or not? John Slow calls the GG. Skogo did it. Skogo has 50 pop. John Slow, he has 82 pop. He lost bombard cannons, but what does that matter when you still have 10 remaining? John Slow is out of gold. He had uh, 42 gold remaining. And a messy eco. What a play. Vietnamese overpowered. Best civ in the game. Please nerf. <laughs> man, that was such a ridiculous game. Skoga says 11. What a game. Such a ridiculous game, man. But in the beginning, I said that if, you're, if you have this civ matchup and you're playing versus a higher rated player, you need to do something different. And while it's very... To play against that style is not fun. And even to play that style cannot be fun. But it's effective. 
It's effective. And I actually found it very entertaining because how often do you see someone going with only bombard cannons and guard towers and imp? Not very often. So well played, Skoga. You deserved the win there. We casted him yesterday. He lost three games to a stronger player. Today, he lost the game to John Slow, and he finally gets his victory. Uh, you know, I went into a Twitch chat after my stream yesterday, and he said, hey, I heard you're talking bad about me. I said, no, no, I wasn't talking bad about you. I was just talking about how bad your strategy was. There's a difference. <laughs> no, I didn't say it like that. But um, yeah, basically, he tends to go with 1TC strats or very aggressive strats, and Against stronger players, it, it doesn't work out, but here it did. Well played. Best game of the day. 83 kills for Skogo. Uh, look at the economy difference. Less food, less wood, less gold. A lot more stone, though. And he gets the victory. Congratulations, Skogo. We'll move on to cast another game.